Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Someone may be feeling like lost in a situation that's not going in their favor. Something, Someone is very sad, maybe a little pessimistic right now. A lot of negative energy. Someone is not innocent, however. They're trying to pretend to be innocent in a situation. Uh, someone chose to be impractical in a situation that they should not have even been participating in or should not have been carrying on. There's been a situation that I'm trying to get clarity on when it comes to a group of people. I tried to quit the situation, but the universe wants me to finish it out. So here we are. There's a queen of uh, wands reverse that is feeling like luster. It's like she was expecting some type of love offer to be given to her. Um, and something has been revealed about this woman that has been pretending to be something that she is not around. I think like a king of pentacles. Now, this woman was pretending to be wholesome so that this man could give her some type of love offer or a partnership. She's not receiving it. She's feeling really embarrassed or just very disappointed. The reason she wanted to be with this man is because of money, prestige, status, uh, being able to live a luxurious lifestyle at his expense. Um, and someone has picked up on this woman's energy and he's choosing not to give it to her. And she's feeling, as I said, like luster. Like she feels rejected. She feels isolated. Um, she feels, I don't know what it is. Like someone is pissed off, angry, and just all kinds of stuff behind the scenes. But she's trying to compose herself and act like something is not bothering her because some type of offer is not being given to her. She's afraid of this person communicating with you. She could be afraid um, that you have insight of what is going on. It's like someone has been competing with you secretly, but you don't know who they are. Their mother could have been helping them, so it's been like a whole family affair. They may have other family members, relatives, or co-workers that has been helping them carry out some type of plot but it's still not going in their favor. Uh, she may be feeling embarrassed because this is someone that thinks themselves to be better than you. But even though they see themselves to be better than you, they're understanding that whoever this offer is coming from does not really care. Someone has foresight of what this woman is. And this is someone that is a user, a gold digger. You know the client was song. I guess she take my money when I'm in need. Yeah, she's a traveling friend indeed. Oh, she's a gold digger. You right, you heard it? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So someone has been trying to get a man to give her an offer so she can use him for money. That's all it is. She's a gold digger, okay? And she's had families, family members and friends helping her with this. They may be pissed off that they've done everything to stop you, to sabotage you, try to get you to sabotage yourself, try to get you to even move, relocate or something, try to get you to feel uncomfortable, uh, let go of your passions in life and things like that. They want you to move on, but you're not doing any of the above and it's pissing them off. Um, they don't know what else to do. This has to do with sort of part of the reason why she feels like luster because she's done everything. To get you to self-sabotage. This is someone that's like wanting you to just all of a sudden wake up and say, Oh, I'm going to move. I don't feel safe here. I'm going to go stay in a motel. I'm going to go stay in a hotel. And it's a no. Okay? It's a failure. You ain't moving nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. You're staying right in port. Things will figure themselves out as time goes on. The universe is become balanced. Things always get balanced out. You're being practical about the situation and moving on. And it has these people disappointed, heartbroken, in distress, living in a lot of fear because they know something is coming out. There's a lot of envy, uh, envious energies going on, a lot of jealousy, a lot of rituals going on, a lot of manipulations and conflict, a lot of deceit taking place, and all of this is coming to an end. There could be a relationship that's over as well, but somebody out there, I don't know if your ex left you for someone or they went and got married. Their relationship is miserable as heck. Uh, so someone may be wanting to reconnect with you, but you have a brand new passionate contract with someone else. You could be a queen of pentacles in the upright, focusing on your family front. Uh, maybe you have quite a, quite a group of people coming after you. Okay. 
in. So the story is starting to get together, okay? Because for a while there is like it's all these pieces we're trying to put together. It's a big puzzle, but all the pieces are not put together yet. So it's like we're kind of all over the place, but the pieces are starting to fall into place. You got a lot of different characters behind the scenes of you trying to do you something in you, right? Bring you issues and things of that nature. They don't care how their lives are falling apart because of what they're doing to you. They're living in fear and anxiety about something being over because of truth and clarity being brought. Something being illuminated, right? And someone being confident enough to communicate with you, right? Uh, so you got a queen of wands plotting your ending, trying to sabotage a, a, a relationship. Uh, if someone is trying to connect with you, she's calling, causing manipulations and things like that so that someone does not take any actions to come towards you. But whoever she's trying to manipulate is standing their ground. They have the upper hand in the situation. Maybe this is someone she was around for money. Maybe he may have invested in her, invested in a relationship when it comes to her. Uh, and no longer is doing that so she may be feeling some type of way about that but she's in a very low vibrational energy right now maybe angry throwing some type of temper tantrum behind the scenes because something is not going in her favor she's being rejected uh, some type of uh, relationship is over between she and someone whether this was a professional or a personal relationship is over um, there's a queen of pentacles in a community as well that's being left behind i don't know if she was in a connection with a man she wanted someone to see her as a twin flame she's obsessed with a king of pentacles and he's not giving her an offer i don't think he's willing to uh what is this what is the word to court, he does not want to court this woman, this Queen of Pentacles reverse. There's something about her energy is just not genuine. This is a disingenuine person, and he knows that. So this is why he is choosing to walk away uh, from this situation. There's no hope in there. There's no healing. This is not someone that, you know, there are certain people in life when you meet them, they tend to have some type of natural talent for bringing communities together, bringing people together. This woman doesn't have any of those skills, any of those tricks. She has to pretend to be in the upright, and this is not someone that is in the upright. This is someone that's very malicious, greedy, and money-oriented, and she's very pissed off right now because she's not receiving something, or someone is not choosing her. They must think like a masculine is dumb or something. Like, they're trying to play on his mental like they they must really think that someone is dumb the man is moving on you yourself you're moving on she's gonna have to move on because whatever a man is noticing about a woman is like repulsive to him he's turned off but she's still trying to force it force the situation she still wants him to see her in some type of light that's not fitting it's like you see someone mask fall off but they want you to pretend like you haven't seen the mask fall off she's pissed up that he's moving on uh healing uh recovering and things like that maybe even coming towards you to connect with you to work or to get in a partnership balance some type of situation give to you maybe protecting you behind the scenes or trying to protect you behind the scenes or defending you behind the scenes because he knows you're someone very balanced and he knows that some type of there's some type of illusion people have been causing about you trying to steal from you and things like that block love offers not have you being seen as someone that's beautiful don't know not wanting you defending yourself and things of that nature. But something is backfiring. It's not going the way these people thought. There's something where it's like a group of people, <coughs> excuse me, have been working really hard on how to sabotage another energy, how to end you. Even if they say they got to take you out, they don't mind doing that. That's how uh, uh, wicked these people are right now and it all has to do with money they don't want someone giving to you they don't want someone telling you the truth exposing the truth to you they're very burdened about you having this new beginning you being seen uh you being heard you being seen as someone that's diplomatic and in the upright so there's a lot of fighting going on about you queen of cups in your queen of source energy whatever you're saying bringing truth and clarity in a situation has someone in prison someone is uh, uh still out here like even though she's mentally in prison even though she knows she has problems coming in, even though she's going through some type of karma, she's still causing manipulations on someone's work, trying to block a ten of pentacles from coming towards you. But you're someone that's logical as well, and you are being guided by spirit to keep moving forward. And this has this person living in fear because there's no failure. It's the end of the road for them. Uh, it's like they're, they're, they're done. Something is done. Like someone is done. All the manipulations, everything. 
You may have someone coming towards you to give you an offer just to sabotage a love connection. Be careful who it is that you partner up with because there's someone being sent towards you. Listen to your intuition. Someone is coming towards you to partner up with you just to block a love connection, a true connection from being given to you. If you make the mistake of partnering up with the wrong person, you're going to live to regret it. There's a woman of high honor in a community had a right to poverty. This is why these people have been trying really hard to block you and someone from connecting because once he leaves or once he connects with you, they're all in poverty. They, may, they must be relying on this gentleman for money. He's showing up as the three of wands, which means he's someone that's a business mogul, very business savvy, has a lot of connections, networker, and things like that. Uh, and maybe they've been using this man's connection. These are people that want to be seen, be want to be on the scene, okay? They'll, they'll do anything for clout, basically, like Sister Cardi B said. They'll do anything for clout. So these are people that will do anything and everything for clout, just to get some attention, make themselves feel important. There are people that are attention hungry, or these are people that are attention hungry. The difference between you and these people, and which is what this man probably likes, is the fact that you don't really care about the theme. You don't care about the attention. You don't care about the luxurious ad items because all of that is vain as heck. And he appreciates that because then he knows you're not someone that's going to be taking advantage of him. It's a lot of heartbreak and despair ahead for these people. They could even be going through that right now. A whole group of friends that got together to dismantle someone else's life. But you are being defended by someone you may not know. Like someone that's balanced um, behind the scenes. But just know it's a lot of heartbreak, disappointment, a lot of anger. Or someone is crying behind the scenes. Could be someone that's disappointed that they didn't uh, partner up with you earlier. But something is going to be balanced out in due time. Your strength is breaking people down. It's dismantling people. It's that they keep doing something to hinder you and you keep moving forward. And they're heartbroken because you're still going to end up in this connection that they've been trying to block. You're still going to receive this bounty that they've been trying to block. I don't know what this is, but these people have been very committed. There's a queen, queen of swords uh, reverse that has been paying a king of pentacles reverse to do you something. Uh, that is to hinder communications, destroy your life in a lot of different ways. And she's still doing this. She's trying to cause you towers and she's going through some type of tower or there's a tower that's about to take place for her. And she's not accepting this. Uh, she's not expecting it. Some, excuse me. This is a narcissist. Okay. This is someone that's very evil. I'm trying to find a word to like, this is like an empty vessel because someone does not know how to self-actualize. It's like someone has some type of mental illness, but they project that mental illness onto other people. She wants to be seen as someone that is upright, someone diplomatic, grounded, down to earth, but she ain't none of the above. Like someone come across as like a man okay like the energy is a is a manly energy like a king of source energy but in the reverse very malicious very bitter very angry uh she does things like meticulously behind the scenes so that people don't know it's her like every interaction you're having with this woman is planned like someone is like i don't know what this is some like i, I don't even know how to voice this like something is planned. It's not accidental. It's some type of lie she's been telling. Um, and the lie has been exposed about her. What she's been doing in a whole community. There's a whole community or a couple group of people that have some type of legal issues coming in. Maybe like a cop or police officer or PI uh, investigating a community of people. And they don't know it. And they're still doing something. Some type of court case is coming up. The justice system may know the truth now. Or they're choosing to balance something out. Or take charge of a situation and balance it out. Uh, there may be someone that tried to take you to court. Have you locked up or something just so... They could take what's yours. It doesn't belong to them. They cannot have what's yours. It's a whole lot of collaborations going on. I'm telling you. This uh, king, queen of pentacles that's feeling like luster, hopeless, pessimistic, pessimistic, excuse me, Ugh. pessimistic. She's feeling pessimistic. She's still collaborating with people behind the scenes to do you something to end you. They want you to move on from your passion. They want you to move on from your work, but they're going to have to move on. There's no friendship in this group. 
There's no healing. It's all nothing but betrayals going on. Why they're trying to betray you and end you. They want you out in the cold. Uh, broke, busted, and disgusted. But that's not what's happening. It's like, I don't know why these people are listening like this. They're trying to sabotage something that you have. They may have taken a lot from you, or they may have taken a lot from someone. I'm seeing you going from the Nine of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, or the Four of Pentacles, and they're still trying to destroy that Four of Pentacles. It's like they said they want you out in the cold. These are people that are very wicked, very evil, vain, and they'll always be ugly on the outside and the inside. This is how they are. Still trying to cause you stagnation, cause blockages to your forward movement. You're a queen of cups. This is all out of jealousy because they don't want a man to choose you. He rejected them and they're pissed off about that because he's choosing you. So you win at the end of the day. Okay? It's like trying to get a man to choose you over another woman, but because you're competing for his attention, he's repulsed by you. He's like, I don't, you're easy to get. I don't want nothing to do with you. I'm going to go with the one that don't want me. That's how it always is. Always is. Excuse me. That's how it always is. It's that like you're so desperate to have this man because there's a queen of pentacles reversed in a community that is obsessed with a man. That she wants this man to be hers. She wants to be seen as his mean chick. Is that mean chick? Girl, you should be the one and only chick. What the heck are you talking about? And it's this very attitude mindset that's turning him off and he's trying to get away from her as far as possible. And she's headed right into poverty despair but will be about to be watching two people come together and living in their truth enjoying each other's company more than likely working together collaborating together and there's something that's going to come to an end um but when it comes to an end it's not going to be pretty for these people it's something just being done out of jealousy it's like they don't like you because you're either pretty or you're self-sufficient you're independent they're trying to dismantle your foundation and things of that nature yeah they're trying to keep something from you, hold you back, control something that belongs to you. And they're losing more in the end than you are losing. And that's an absolute yes. I said they're losing more than you are in the end and the sun came out. That's an absolute yes. This is truth being illuminated. Um, that these people stand to lose way more than you do. It don't matter how many people they collaborate with. And they're working hard to destroy your foundation. They've taken a lot from you and someone will be exposing the truth. So King of Cups going through some type of ending. Uh, he may be one, going through an ending with a queen of wands um, that's trying to hold on to him. He may be stuck in a situation. Maybe he was trying to make some type of reverse towards you, back to you, and it's not happening. Someone may have gotten married to someone that they should not be with in the first place. Uh, the relationship between you and him are over, or is over, excuse me. And he's mad about that. He may have invested in the wrong thing, in the wrong person, in the wrong people, wrong place, wrong thing. And now it's nothing but conflict in his life. Uh, so now he wants to come back. And I don't know what, 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 but like you're going to have to just let that go. Cut your losses and move on. I don't even know what to say. The, the, the terminology is not coming up. This man feels trapped in a relationship for you all. He feels trapped. May have gotten with someone because he found them to be beautiful. Uh, but that was about it. Maybe she showed him some type of side of her that does not exist. You know, when those uh, sirens stick on a specific energy. You know, like the the, the uh, skinwalker, ship shifter, they know how to take on personality. So she probably took on some type of personality and it has worn off. Maybe you're not around anymore for her to steal your energy. She doesn't have access. Someone has been stopped, blocked out of your energy. So she's not able to pretend to be you. Like, you got a lot of people that are just obsessed with you for no reason. They say, oh, there go that divine being that is gifted. They're not like us. They're not from this planet. Oh, my gosh. Can we touch it? Can we touch her? No, don't touch her. <laughs> don't touch her. You touch her, it's going to be problems. I said, can you touch her? The, the eight of cups came out. That's a no. Don't touch her. Walk away. Walk away. Okay? Move on. Yeah, you're going to have to move on. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a couple that... I don't know what this couple is. It's a couple that was paid to do something immoral. This was, this was a couple that was more than likely in the upright before, but they were paid to do something immoral, and they thought they were going to 
uh, get some type of wealth or abundance out of it and they ain't getting nothing out of it. They may uh, even be experiencing financial difficulties or some type of problem um, in their relationship. Uh, it's like they end up putting themselves in some type of fender bender that, who, that, that never was necessary to happen. These were two happy people before. But now because of something that they got themselves in, uh, they don't know how to even handle this. They may be thinking about running away, taking some type of action to get away from a situation they put themselves in. They can't. Law enforcement is watching you all. I don't know where you're going to go, but they got questions. Y'all better have answers. It's all they know. Okay? Yeah, I don't know who this Queen of Pentacles is. All of these people, they're feeling like luster, pessimistic, hopeless, unable to heal, unable to recover, don't have foresight of the future in the right way, feeling to listen to their better judgment. Uh, and they're just out here looking just immoral, unethical. Uh, there's something where maybe someone may have been saying something was being done on principle. It's not principle. Uh, it's not principle at all. There's a cop or there's the... There's some type of uh, law official, like a PI that's investigating a group of people. And it has them burdened or maybe there's something else that's had them... Like this whole situation has them burdened. But they are being investigated. I don't know if they know they're being investigated. But you're being investigated by, uh, 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 by the law. And whatever they find out about you or found out about you all got you stuck in some type of situation you cannot get out of. I don't know what to tell you. Something should have been stopped a long time ago, but there's a bitter queen of swords behind the scenes that has been telling people to keep doing something, telling people how to access platforms, how to access people's work, emails, all kinds of stuff. Just, just, just like immature. Like this person is mentally unstable. Mentally. This is someone telling other people that an earth angel is mentally unstable or mentally ill. But when you look at the actions this woman has been taking, stalking someone, setting up fake job positions to give to people, have people intercepting connections online if you try to reach out for help, uh, bullying, paying people to bully someone, paying people to play mind games, that's mental illness. And that's a different kind of mental illness. You're doing all this and someone is ignoring you and you're still doing it and you're still trying to say that they're the ones with the mental illness. You have a mental illness you need to go take care of. And whoever she's been paying to hinder you, he himself is losing his mental. Someone has lost a grip of his mind. He, he don't know. Like, I won't be surprised if someone doesn't even know what day of the week it is. They don't even know what's going on. Someone has left, if they work a position, their job position, they've left it on the roadside. They're not doing the job efficiently anymore or sufficiently anymore. If they own a business, they're neglecting their business. They're not doing it sufficiently anymore. Like they're, they're neglecting it. So whatever this woman has been doing, look at it from a, a higher perspective. You are bullying someone. You are stalking someone. You are uh, 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 blocking someone's uh, uh, finances because you want to prove that they are mentally unstable. But the actions that you are taking proves that you are the one who is mentally unstable. You got to make it make sense. It won't. It won't. You're out here mad because someone is just sufficient. You're out here mad because someone is confident within themselves from what I'm seeing on here. You're mentally ill. You're mentally ill. Because shouldn't anyone be disinvested in another person's life? No one should be disinvested in another person's life. But because you started a lie and you got to keep that lie going, that's why you feel like you got to go to that far extent. And when the truth is all out, you're just going to look like an unhinged creature. People are going to be repulsed and turned off by you. It's going to come out. You ain't going to hide the truth. Like something is already here. So whatever you're doing is just out of ego now. Telling someone to keep going. It's out of ego because the truth is out. <clears throat> There's someone around you that knows exactly what's going on. And I wouldn't be surprised if you end up being blackmailed. Which you deserve to be. This stuff don't make no sense. You're doing something and you're, and you're living in fear. You're living in fear of the truth coming out. The truth is already out. Maybe not full blown, but it's still coming out. And it's still going to come out full blown. So when it comes out, people are going to see everything you are doing behind the scenes. 
to try to destroy someone else and you're going to look like a maniac. People are going to distance themselves from you. Like, nah, I don't want to do, I don't want to have anything to do with you. You'll do that to her. If you'll do that to her, I can only imagine what you'll do to me. And you've been out here pretending like you're what wholesome all these years. We never thought you would participate in something like this. Someone is broken. That's all I can say. Like, someone is broken. You're going to need a lawyer, by the way. Which none of them are going to help you. Because if they have two senses, they're going to look at something and say, sure, I can't help you. I cannot help you. Because it's a strict shooter. These people are collaborating again. This is all they do is collaborate on how to cause more manipulations and blockages. How to keep someone stagnant. Block you from being able to move on. They're playing some type of mental game with a king of pentacles in the environment. He knows what's going on. He knows. He's still moving on. It's stupid. It's a le different level of stupidity. You wake up every day doing the same old stuff. You ain't getting the results that you think you're going to get or you want to get, but you still want to keep going. And you know you got legal issues coming in. Your head is straight for poverty. It's a queen of pentacles in the community, but the head right into poverty. But to be sitting, watching, disappointed, heartbroken, in distress. Because two people are still coming together, will be living their truth and working together. Okay? And that's the queen of wands. Maybe you have to be so stuck, it won't even make sense. Then why did I pay to have this person blocked? Why did I pay to have this person's privacy violated? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, now you, now you got questions? You have listened to your intuition before taking action in the past to hinder someone's contract, keep someone binded to something, or try to bind what? A queen of, a queen of swords? You, you, you crazy. You are crazy. I don't know what kind of ego you guys have, but baby, this one is out of this world. It's so big that your common sense left with it. It went to a whole different realm and dimension. You don't even know where it is. Your, your common sense is looking for you. It said, hey, Mick, has anyone seen uh, 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 Maria? I've been looking for Maria for years now. It said, oh, Maria is in uh, 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 realm two, dimension two. Oh, you know what? I'm going to just stay up here. I'm going to just stay up here. It's okay. It's okay. The dang, that's, that, that's how far apart we are. I'm in seven and she's in two. You want me to go all the way back to two to find her? Nah. She's going to make her way up here. Yeah, she's going to have to work hard to make her way back up to seven. Because whatever she's doing in two don't got nothing to do with me. I don't reside on that frequency. That's what your common sense is saying in dimension seven. In the seventh dimension. Okay? <laughs> in the seventh realm. Excuse me. Girl, I can't. Someone's about to lose a job. They're trying to stop you from receiving a job. Actually, they're trying to stop you from working. They're trying to stop your commitment. They're trying to stop your dedication, your loyalty to your path, to your work, to your craft. Right? You're perfecting what it is that's yours. Because you're... Baby, you're coming out of the Nine of Pentacles, stepping into the Five of Pentacles, to the Four of Pentacles, to the Eight of Pentacles. So even though you've been going through something, you still stay dedicated to yourself, your path, your destiny, and it has these people pissed off. This is why they're trying to destroy you. They said, we have to figure out a way to get this person to quit. And they're not. Someone is choosing to invest in themselves, in their dreams, focus on their dreams. Ain't nobody quitting nothing. This is why you all got to manipulate behind the scenes, crashing people's systems and things like that, platforms and things like that, or work computers, whatever, so that people don't work because you can't get them to quit their destinies. If something was fair, you know very well you wouldn't be lasting this long. This is why you got to do things from behind the scenes maliciously, bully people from behind the scenes so you can make it seem like what you said was true. It wasn't true. He said, I told you she was going to quit. What did you do, though, for that person to quit? Play with their hours? Uh-huh. That's why they quit. Because you were playing with their hours. They didn't quit because they wanted to. You made them quit. Stop it. Tell me, I told you she's not loyal. I told you he's not loyal. He's not a hard worker. Whole time they're playing with your hours, playing with your work, defaming you at work. And then when you leave, they say, oh, I guess you were right. He's really not loyal. He's really not dedicated. He's really not skilled. No, 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 no. Whoever I'm picking up on is absolutely dedicated, very skilled, hardworking, determined, loyal as heck, disciplined, and you're, you're, you're a freaking liar. I said loyal, right? What, what came out? The page of source. Loyalty. Someone is loyal as heck. Someone has insight now, foresight. 
of what has really been going on with you, divine being. Okay? Oh, this game I reverse on this uh King of Cups reverse. Yeah, someone is crazy. He, his commitment, he went and got married. I don't know who this man got married to. It ain't working out. I don't know if he wants a divorce or the 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 uh uh, uh the relationship is not working out. Someone done stray so far from the norm. It don't even make sense. He don't even know who he is anymore. Someone went from like a traditional relationship where he was content in uh, to some type of situation with a Queen of Wands reverse that is like a nightmare. A nightmare. He wants out. There could be that in some type of open thing. Three way, uh, baby. I don't know what this is. Maybe she got him caught on, cut up on something, addicted to something. Baby, I don't know what this is. I really don't care. But he's stuck with this woman. He is stuck with this woman. He may be trying to separate from her now. He's seeking to be an uh, individual now. He wants to separate from her. He said, I don't want to be with this woman no more. <laughs> That's your problem. That's your business. We don't care. We're just mentioning you because you're on this, this, on this board. In this spread, he wants to. He wants a divorce. He wants to separate from her, and she won't let go. <laughs> she said, "Remember our vows, <laughs> sir. Remember your vows. <laughs> Gotta take your vows." <laughs> yeah, he wants to be single now to go back to an empress. That empress ain't taking you back. Empresses don't be taking people back like that, especially once they're sure of themselves. Girl, try please. You're wasting your time. Walk away. Go away. That woman don't want nothing to do with you. That woman is busy focusing on her family, her life, what she got going on. That's about it. I'm telling you, she's focusing on her life, balancing herself out. Yeah, this couple here, I don't know. They're under some type of investigation or whatever this is. There's something where something immoral, unethical they did to what a, a temperance energy, an empress energy. And it's maybe it's hunting them because they didn't get out of the situation what they thought they were going to get out of the situation. Uh, so now they got to figure out what to do. We, we were told we were going to get out of this if we did this to this person. We aren't getting any of that. No, you're not. They sabotage you. They did a lot to defeat you, to destroy your pathway. And they were promised a lot. They ain't getting nothing. So I don't know what it is they're going to do. I don't know why a couple like this will involve themselves in something crazy like this um but they're learning a hard lesson they're about to learn a hard lesson uh they could be feeling really defensive right now so, there's some type of decision they're trying to make but they don't know like which way to go so they're kind of in between right now like a, a lot of indecision on their part but something's gonna have to be balanced out but there's some type of promise that was made to these people that if they did something to a temperance energy they would get something out of it if they lie on a temperance energy if they betray a temperance energy you are more than likely very kind to these people very loving very nice to them very genuine something that did probably cut you off guard you said what in the world you too like i would never expect this from you too i thought you two were in the upright and they probably were but maybe they were desperate for money uh, someone sold them a dream and they bought the dream and now the dream has come back to hunt them in the behind. But there's something they're going to have to balance out. They lied on you. They didn't support you or defend you when you when they were supposed to. And the truth is coming out that you are someone that's actually balanced, someone that's actually healed. Angelic maybe because you have the, uh, you showing up as a temperance energy. Okay? So... I don't know what to tell them, but uh, if you're a king of swords, I don't know if you have something something to do with these people or if you are in the court system. I don't know what this is. You're a PI, whatever this is. Someone is trying to manipulate you. Someone's trying to confuse you. Someone's trying to call, stop you from taking some type of action. So you may want to be careful. Like these people are desperate out here to do something desperate to do something i don't know what this is baby but this is a lot of dedication to destroy someone or stop someone from receiving an offer this all has to do with you receiving some type of offer from a masculine energy that wants to work with you they don't want you to receive it okay they don't want things being balanced out in your life so this is why they're doing something they're trying to steal something that you're working on it could be like your spiritual work 
They are obsessed with you. So they're doing things behind the scenes to steal from you, uh, block you. They may even try to turn something legal. Can't turn it legal. Like someone is, there's a, there's a group of friends that have some type of legal issue coming in and it's going to undo them. And instead of them throwing in the tower and moving on, they want to keep doing something because people in this group or this community have lost their mind. These are a bunch of narcissists. Very cunning, uh, betraying each other while they're coming after you and nothing good happening for them. It's like maybe someone took some type of impulsive action to come towards you to destroy you or end you and it didn't go in their favor. Maybe they missed you or maybe you weren't home or something like that. Whatever this is, there's some type of malicious act being planned again. This is all they do. When something, if they plan something, it doesn't work out. They plan another thing. They just keep going and keep going. By the time this is over, they're going to be in debt, unemployed, uh, some of them divorced, just some of them sick. Family members passing, all kinds of stuff. The dog passing, kids passing, all kinds of stuff. And they don't care. They want to keep going. But keep going, keep going. The, uni the universe said it. it's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Trying to steal what belongs to you. Trying to steal your work. This is what it is. They, they're obsessed. They're obsessed. They want to steal your work. And they, they, they think they're going to steal it and get away with it. Okay? Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.